open a grown dad business, Tulsa, Oklahoma style. That's right. I'm here in the makeshift dad cave. I'm not allowed to call it that because my guest this week is my friend, Andy Picaro. Hello, sir. Andy Picaro. Not hey, Andrew. What's going on? Not Andrew. No, don't we don't that. play that. Nope. We're in Tulsa. We've been uh, traveling around and uh, we're going to talk about moving because Andy is in fact right now moving to Los Angeles. Yeah, boxes in my car right There's now. There's boxes in his car. Heirlooms. There's heirlooms. <laughs> yeah, really. There's no better way to take your most valuables across the country than stopping in cities along the way for weeks at a time in yeah, alleyways. Yeah. And it's been great. It's been driving great. them through the desert. Nervous every night that all my favorite things might be smashed and rummaged through. <laughs> no, it's great. <laughs> and uh, and I am moving my entire family to a new house. Um, yeah, but your move is quick. I'd rather move a whole family down the street. Yeah, well, it's yeah. At least we're not moving to Los Angeles. That's not happening. So that's what we're going to talk about. Yeah. Two very different moving stories. Um, and uh, so, yeah, if that's going to be boring, whatever. Um, see you guys later. But, uh, oh, yeah. It's, Lost it's, it's a few some, there. Some grown-up business. Yeah. Granddad business with Aaron Caliber. That's my dad. Hello. Underpants. That is hilarious. Just your mouth do. Rate and review this podcast while my daddy will go into a deep depression. I say boom when we come back. And we're back. Yeah. I say boom and we go right back at it. Uh, I need a countdown. Okay, sorry. Is that like the Wayne's World countdown where I'm like... I do always think about five, that. Five. Four. I've never been part of a countdown <laughs> uh, okay. where I didn't think about that. Don't nod your head. Oh, every time. Every time. Every yeah. time. Um, yeah, I just watched the movie Magnolia and they were doing the countdown and I thought of Wayne's World. The movie oh, really? Mag- in the game show. Remember the countdown... The game show to start again. I know I love Magnolia, but it's I've seen it like scene. twice, and yeah. it was a long time ago. But um, but yeah, uh, Andy Andy does comedy with me a lot, and uh, Andy has been on an episode of Grown Dad Business early on. Yeah, early I on. remember that we were up uh, at the Pleasure Bar, right? Yeah, you have you have some fun, interesting stories in your life. That was a fun uh, night. Um, <laughs> but but since, <laughs> since since I don't remember what we talked about, Aaron. <laughs> I, I don't remember. Either. Either. I have no I idea. Know. Well, we talked about your dad and your family oh, and things like that. Okay, yeah, I remember that. It's little. actually it's it's a good story. It's yeah. a good story. I'll listen back. Not in a bad way. I don't, you know want, I don't want to pad your numbers too much, but I'll listen Andy. back. Uh, all this week, uh, all these last two weeks, we've been on we've been on tour. <laughs> Andy's come out with me before and uh, done shows with me. We did we did Chicago, we did Wichita, and now we're finishing up in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And me and Andy has we've reached this like. We have this fun duo where where I'm like this, like, Andy's to call me Aunt Aaron. <laughs> Aunt Aaron, yeah, with an E. No, e- don't R- say that. I, I don't like that part. Aunt That's, Aaron. You son of a bitch. Oh, come on. I don't like that part. It's not. Is it insulting but, to be called a woman? No, no. It's not. Okay. It's, no, I was it's just, just clearing that I just want to keep up. my name. I just want to keep my name. No. The real spelling. But Andy, I realize, is my Uncle Buck. <laughs> you're my Uncle Buck. Well, you're my Aunt Aaron because... You you really enjoy when shopping, looking at things and finding the deals. <laughs> I do. You really do. You love okay, it. Okay, but I was looking at comic books you, at a flea market. You also hate everyone else that drives. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Every driver that exists. Andy. But this is what's happened over the last like week and a half. I just like he'll say things about life or parenting or coupons. And my response is, Andy, what? Well, clearly a little tongue in cheek. But there are some things you yeah, say that have blown me away with kids. Like um, oh, the yeah. amount of diapers, I would have no idea that it's yeah, in the thirties. Yeah. Twenty said? thirty a day for a newborn. God. Oh, for sure. I still like, don't even believe that. I know that's right? just crazy. Well, I learn all kinds of things. I, is it because of rashes? You. Yeah, that's true. Well, and they go a lot, oh, and they go man. a lot. You got to keep them dry, or they'll get they'll get in trouble. Well, we're little... just feeding them mush. Yeah, like, I imagine little... that. No, you just got to come out mush. The other you're really way just too. feeding them breast milk, Andy. Oh, really? That's all babies eat. Oh, for, like, like a little bit for a long time. Yeah. Not, that's, not, that's not like the first few weeks or anything like that? That's a, a Oh, while. that's like months. Oh, yeah, because I guess getting the baby off the bottle, that's what they mean. Yes. Oh, okay. Get, start eating solid food. Yeah, it's months. Months. Wow. So they consider like ground up peas and carrots solid f- food. Oh, yeah. That's oh, okay. like, oh, boy. That might be like what <sighs> RoboCop eats. <laughs> when do you give the... Yeah, 
Yes. When do you actually. give the kids what RoboCop eats? Uh, what? Like, I'm, I'm going to get this wrong. Like, six months? Wow. I should ask your wife. We'll yeah, call you Wendy. <laughs> call, call my wife. I can't call her right now. So I'm, we're, in, we're, uh, we're in Tulsa. We're in Tulsa, yeah. Which is, um, it's nice. I li- I've never seen the Southwest, but wouldn't move here. Look, I, I, is this, I, like, technically the Southwest? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely, it's interesting. It's weird because, it, like, Colorado's right above you, and that's not really, or, you yeah. know, not above above, but it's somewhere above us, I'm guessing. Right no, now, it's huh? to the west. Northwest? No, it's west. D- directly west? Northwest. I don't know. Whatever. The, the, We're in that part of the country where it's like, it's like I guess it's, it's are we in the, just the central United States? What is it? I mean... Yeah, we're not even... We're just in the middle. There's still so, so much to go. Yeah. Colorado is, uh, in fact, yeah, it's uh, it's northwest. Yeah. Yeah. Kansas directly above us. When uh, I say up, New I mean Mexico, north. New Mexico, Texas, well, Texas, the top of Texas is west of us, and then New Mexico. Yeah, I'm driving through handle. it. Driving through it tomorrow. Wow, man. You really are. Yeah, if anybody... Uh, you know, has been to Albuquerque. I've seen Albuquerque from the sky, but uh, I've been there. Be a and pleasure I, to drive through. I took a picture in front of Walter White's house and the car wash, and uh, I ate at the uh, the burger joint that Jesse Pinkman likes. But so, oh, I, I know what I was saying was that Andy is driving his vehicle yes. on this to- little tour here, so that he can drive the rest of the way to Los Angeles. Drive it the rest of the way across and That's begin right. your life. Yes, yeah, be the new life. Dude, that is, whew, man. Even bringing all your stuff uh, is crazy because we keep comparing moving stories. Because I'm moving a house with three bedrooms, th- three kids, my wife and I, and it's just Andy moving. Well, you know what's weird is in this show, I have you, so much stuff. What mental problems I had? That's the <laughs> I moved. I remember when they packed my moving truck from Jersey? That they they had they were kind of laughing. They're like, "This is enough." For about a three bedroom house, you said you had so much stuff in storage. Yeah, I had. I had like a. a it, I could have pulled two cars into my storage unit and, and still had room. I could have treated my. It was like a big two car garage, my storage unit. Yeah, you, you collected a lot of stuff. Yeah, That's all crazy. this um, just sports memorabilia that no one wanted then, and no one wants now. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, and I got rid of all my stuff. I got too. rid of all of it though. I got rid of all. Of it. Yeah, I, I, I've said before on this podcast talking about getting rid of things. Uh, after my second kid, I mean that's true. I mean, I just had to get rid of shit. I mean, you have to, you gotta get rid of shit. There's certain stuff I just can't get get rid of that I should because it just takes up space. But I, like, I have all these huge signs from uh, Civic Arena. Oh yeah, and, like really, really big, like eight foot by like three foot signs. Yeah, Andy's huge. a huge hockey fan and yeah. played hockey all, uh, his whole life. Yeah, so you've you've definitely got some good me- hockey memorabilia. Yeah, the good stuff I've kept, but lo- but all the all the dude, I got rid of everything. Is. I get rid of everything, and I, and my wife has turned into a machine of like getting rid of things. I mean, I she'll be like, that that sock was discolored, and she'll throw it in the trash. Like she's like, it's gone. <laughs> she's like, uh, the kids have not played with this for four days. It is gone, gone. She's always like, oh, the vets are coming today. Oh, the vets are coming today. Because <laughs> like get it. the veter, they have the yeah, um, yeah. they do, like the veterans. Oh, they trust me, I, I, I've seen the flat screen TV. I oh look, yeah. The area I lived in, people would leave their old flat screens out for the vets, and no yeah. one would take them. Yeah, you got you got actually got to be pretty low to see something that just says "for the vets" on it. And you're like, I'm, <laughs> I know, right? I'm gonna take this. You know what I mean? Like That's who ridiculous. who would do it? Who would do it? But that's why people put the stuff out because no one's gonna, you know. Right. You can give them good stuff. No one's gonna steal. That's you know. Right. I guess certain neighborhoods. I mean, my wife is everything. They, they, she's she. I feel like she was putting stuff on the porch every week for like a year straight. But we did it, and we had yard sales every year, and now we're moving to a bigger house with a bigger yard. Andy, I have to buy a tractor. Why, though? It's because the yard, we have almost two acres. We have a lot of grass, a lot. Wow. And a push mower, I I mean, I... I how, just... how expensive is it to get some young Yinzer to come over and... Uh... <laughs> Yinzer. I'm not talking like a garden specialist. No, no, no. How much would it cost to get like a douchebag local high school kid? Well, some people... I, I mentioned before, I used to own my own landscaping company. Okay. I would probably do this yard for $60 a week. A week? A week, dude. It's a big yard. You got to mow the lawn every week? 
Yeah, you do. Really? Usually, yeah. With the with the with uh, the amount of rain and moisture and sun that you get in the summertime in Pennsylvania, yeah. Every week, really? I yeah, do every I mean, two. I do every two weeks. Yep, you can do two weeks, but that it'll it'll actually take a little bit longer because it's harder to cut it if it gets higher. But anyway, I mean, look, that's one hundred and twenty bucks if you do it every two weeks, which is a month, which is a that's nice a lot, expense. man. Yeah, it's a big expense. It's a lot. It's like but a, I mean, how much? Is, how much is a tractor? A tractor's a thousand dollars. Only a thousand? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were gonna say like six or something like that. No, okay, that's fine. Dollars. That's not a lot then. Yeah, you can get a decent tractor for a thousand. Really? And then I got Yeah. And I got to Then I got to buy a shed to put the tractor in. How much are those? Thousand dollars. Okay. I mean, that's the only. I no, guess, you, know you know what? I don't know. I found some. This is some grown-up talk, Andy. I'm proud of you. Um, actually, well, I mean, I'm not <laughs> agreeing with it. I would still just pay six. I find some good prices. On I would sheds still at just Sam's pay Club for, for about six, seven hundred dollars. See, I'm never going to build a shed. I'm never, no matter what Andy, happens in my life, though, dude, here's the thing. I'm going to. No matter what happens, Andy, I'm not going to build a shed. <laughs> ever. Ever. Andy. Ever, ever. I'm going to build a shed by the end of the month. That's crazy. I mean, it's crazy to me. <laughs> Andy. It's crazy. You might build a shed What the hell do you day. need a shed for, though? My tractor. <laughs> I just said that, Andy. But you don't. I mean, if you could avoid all this by 120 a month to some kid who needs it. Oh, oh! Some kid's not getting sixty bucks. A landscape company's getting sixty bucks. Oh, well, dude, ask some kid and do it for eighty. Yeah, I'll pay my nephew forty. Yeah, there you That's go. That's what I might have Look to at do. How we're saving money here. Yeah, and you don't got to build anything. You don't have to be a guy that has a shed. You don't dude, be that he guy. Can't, don't be a guy. Uh, with no, a I have shed. to still get a tractor. No. Uh, I have to pay. He can't bring a tractor over. That's changed the whole classification of person. Jeez. People who own a tractor and people who do not. There's a big. Separation I... there. All of a sudden, you you don't fit in a lot of Venn diagrams. That's what I'm saying. Like, what? Come on. I... Who owns tractors? How many people you people know that have a tractor? Yards. A lot of people, especially in Western Pennsylvania. This is grown dead business. I'm sure a lot of people that listen this to this is have tractors. Large property owner business. Most people don't have tractors. There's no way most people have tractors. Some people have that tractors. can't be. Some people have tractors. Is the some sentence. people have tractors. That is the sentence we're looking for. Yes. Some. If you got a big enough yard, you need a tractor. For what though? Be- to cut the grass, it doesn't. It, it takes. So are you talking about a riding mower riding or a mower, tractor? Yes. No, not like a Andy. All right, please. dude. Come on, you said tractor. A riding mower. Okay, well you said tractor. What are you talking about? I thought you were. Dude, what do my you think grandfather I'm had a tractor. Andy, my grand, but it wasn't. Andy, dude. we are not talking about. A tractor. But you said tractor 90 times. This We are talking about a tractor. You said tractor. I didn't say like a farm tractor. No, no, no. But I, I'm talking about a smaller tractor, like the ones that are in f- the front at Home Depot. Those ones. Yeah, but. Of oh. course. But still. To cut the grass, Andy. Are those the riding mowers? Yes. I didn't realize the word was interchangeable. Yes. Oh, okay. That's a like lawn tractor. Okay. I knew you weren't getting this huge monstrosity Andy. of a tractor. I thought you were getting a little one. Did you think I was going to do haunted hay rides in my house <laughs> in, the, in the fall? I, I could don't make know. Some extra money. I, I don't know have, anything about this shit. I could have kids. Well, that's why. Like at, besides, that's what you're besides a tractor, what else would go in a shed? Uh, tools. But I mean, Yard come on. Tools. What do you put in your garage? Rakes. What do you put in your garage? Um, I have stuff for my car. Like what? Like I armor all ever... wipes? Where do you put those? Handy, those yes. <laughs> My garage had tons of stuff in it. Tons of stuff. Yeah, but isn't most of that stuff rakes and shovels, and that's where that shit goes? Yeah, rakes, shovels. I had you know salt for the winter time. But now you're gonna throw all that stuff in the shed. I have to. Yeah. Why? To, to justify owning it? Oh no! I mean, that's just kind of where it goes. I mean, I might put some stuff in the basement. But isn't this place bigger than the last place? So can't you fit more in the garage? There is no garage in this new place. There's no garage. Mm-mm. That's the problem. Oh, that's okay. Exactly. Oh, oh all right. That's why I have now to Now it's shed. getting clear. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Do you have like a walkout basement type situation? Yes. Then that's another. You can use that's that. That's good. You can there use is that. a lot yeah. of stuff that can go Just in there. Just pull the tractor in there. Like you can't. Why not? Steps. Just make sure the kids aren't in the basement when you start Andy, it. Just you make sure can't. they're not in the basement when you start it. Just make sure. <laughs> tell I them, cannot drive tell them to, All right. Tell them to hold their breath while you're starting it. <laughs> And breath. turn on a fan, and then that you can just leave sense. it in the basement. You can just leave it in the basement. No, you can't drive it out. I, I even know I, that's a good thought. <laughs> <laughs> just make a little garage door for your tractor. No, you couldn't. That's why I got. I can't do that. I just can't imagine, man. A shed. Wow. Let's say, yeah, it's you know, that's a big deal. It is a big deal. Do you know what else I I was telling Andy? Uh, you know what else to do? I have to dig French drains. Don't. And uh, you told me what they were. I didn't know what they were. Yeah. I did. Uh, I have to dig a trench around my entire house and then fill it with gravel. 
so that I don't get a lot of water in my basement anymore. That's all I got to do on my new house. Are you going to use your tractor to do that? No. We, I have to rent an excavator. That's so crazy. <laughs> I just love Andy's reactions to it's this stuff. It's just so nuts. I mean, I just... First, first of all, I really believe... I really mean, no matter how successful I got, I would really just want to have an apartment. Because it's just so much stuff. I can't can't put up with all that stuff. Yeah, you're right. It, it's just too much. I, 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 I get it, though. It is nice. And it, I guess if I had this ridiculous level of money... Where right. you could just pay someone to do every little thing, right? Then I guess I would want like a house. for instance, you know what I mean? Yeah. Dave Chappelle lives on a huge farm property in the middle of Ohio. He pays people to take care of it. That would be awesome. I would love to do that. He pays people, but to I mean, take come on. I mean, Dave Chappelle money is like that's you know. Yeah, I mean, what's he worth? Fifty, hundred million? Yeah, probably. I mean, yeah. He's getting sixty million for three specials. Yeah, so he's good. Yeah. Like his his mortgage in the middle of Ohio is not hurting him. <laughs> well, not only that, he could probably think about how much money he's saving. He, he could literally hire twenty people. Do you think he has an apartment in L.A. and New York? Well, he, I mean, he's in L.A. so much. He has to have one. In he LA. probably just goes to hotels. No, I don't know. I think he has a place in L.A. I mean, so would you? Would you be the kind of like? That's kind of where I'm going, man. And I'm I'm what? not saying okay. I did not just say that I'm Dave Chappelle level. You're, you're planning on owning three properties across the country. Yes. That's where you're going? No. Oh, <laughs> ideally, I'm I'm going to have my Wait, big... Ideally, I want to own 10. You know what I mean? Like, oh, no, I, no, ideally, no, I where do we cap this at? I would love I would love to have uh, an apartment in L.A. and just have my big family home. We got like a farm now, Andy. We have a farmhouse. <laughs> it's 115 years old. Are you guys looking forward to holding Christmases, like family Christmases? Yes. That is perfect. The farmhouse at Christmas. We're excited. Pretty good. Because we have a lot of parking, too. Yeah, it's pretty good. A lot of parking. We have a big driveway. I tell you what, I hate being in warm weather for Christmas, and, and it looks like it's going to be that way now for a long time for me. Yeah. And uh, I actually, we're thinking about going up to, like, Big Bear, like, renting a cabin. Oh, that's cool. For Christmas. So just so we can have some snow. That's dope. Well, I've been going to Florida the past three years. Yeah. And, uh, man, it is just not Christmas in Florida. You're at the mall. People are just Yeah, that's churros. weird. Well, I, I've heard in L.A. it's kind of weird, too. It is weird. I haven't been in L.A. for Christmas yet, but I've been there during Christmas time, and it's very weird how right. little they try to decorate because it just looks bizarre. Right. No one wants to see, like, a light-up acorn on Sunset Boulevard. It just doesn't feel right. <laughs> it just looks stupid. I uh, So the whole the whole trouble with this whole trip is you're finally moving all your stuff out. Yeah, the last of my of my stuff, your things. Yeah. Last of my. Things. And Andy definitely has some. I'm a I'm a single dude. Uh, random memorabilia that I wish I had. Oh yeah, yeah. Dude, sure. you got some good stuff, man. Oh, and yeah. I told you I have nothing. Well, you know, I mean, here's the thing: is that I, I, I was never into music growing up, right? And movies, like I had this period of time where I loved movies. I kind of got out of that a little bit too. The only thing I've really had this really like this fandom for was going to sporting events. Oh yeah. So most of the stuff I've with you, me, yeah. you have been to some amazing. You've yeah. been to Super Bowls, Super Bowl. Cup games, yeah, yeah, bunch of Stanley Cup games. Which is, I've seen three cups won, which is amazing. Oh my god, that's amazing. Only one was my team, but yeah. I've seen three won. Um, yeah, I mean, the only thing I really there's a couple things I really want to see. I want to. That's see, what you were into. Yeah, I want to see an NBA championship. Even though I'm not a big basketball fan, I want to see an NBA team win. Then I want to see a World Series win. Hmm. I want to wow. see the, the clinching game. Because that I've been would, to World Series games, but not the clinching That'd be games. pretty amazing to uh, see all four championships live. Yeah, that's what I want. That's what I want. Yep. That's a pretty dope grown dad goal, actually. Well, I got the big one over. Like, the Super Bowl is a really big, expensive once is in a Is that lifetime. probably the biggest one? Super Bowl? As far as cost. Biggest expense? As far as cost, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, there are little ones that will be more expensive. Like, you know, God, if the Bulls or the Knicks are in a championship, I, mean, I can't go to a game. You know what I mean? There, right, right. That would be too expensive, but... Yeah, I mean the Super Bowl is ridiculous. You know what? I I think it's awesome. Like I I'll bring Andy back on, and we should just have a whole talk about traveling to sports games. Yeah, I could talk about that for a long time. I mean, time. dude, yeah. you did you, like that was like your thing. That was yeah, your I mean, hobby, and, and that's in moving all these goddamn boxes. Yeah, <laughs> it's a lot of stuff from going to the games, and just a lot of sports stuff that I probably don't even have space for. Yeah, we I'm gotta keeping. do we gotta do a sports yeah. collectible uh, episode because I think people will like that. Because, I, I mean, dude, I collected all kinds of stuff, too. And now, like, when we were packing, so here's how we're doing it, right? Okay. I've told you, we we have to rent a U-Haul for all of our big furniture. But we got, like, those storage pods in our driveway. And my wife and I, we filled them to the brim. 
I mean, like, even because I had to leave for 12 days yeah. before we're closing. So, like, we, I tried to help as much as I possibly could. And, like, we packed it. And my wife pulled out. Didn't he, like, I don't even remember. I knew I never threw this stuff away, but you just forget about it for so long. Like, when you went in your storage unit, you're like, holy crap, I forgot I have all these. <laughs> oh, a lot of stuff I didn't even remember buying. I know, man. Yeah. Dude, like, she's like, oh, my gosh, here's, like, a bunch of your hockey cards. And I'm like, these are all Pittsburgh Penguin rookie cards. This entire box. Probably the whole team from 1988 to, like, 2002. See, my hockey cards are still in Pittsburgh. I'm, I'm leaving at my, my girlfriend's brother's house because I didn't <laughs> put them on the truck, and I didn't want to keep the whole case I had them in, so I was going to keep them separate. Whole thing. But anyway, I'm glad I didn't bring them. Dude, my movers, you should see the way they pack things. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Ridiculous. Was it, was it good? No. <laughs> Dude, oh. I have some pictures. Like nothing just broke. Just in case you had to sue them. Yeah, nothing, <laughs> nothing broke, dude. Nothing broke that was their fault at That's all. That's ridiculous. But dude, everything was just tossed into this truck. Two elderly Spanish dudes, which, by the way, uh, and you know, maybe not correct. Mexican dudes are the best movers, right? So I'm excited they're Mexican dudes. Sure. I'm like, yes, because these guys, sure, they're diligent. They don't want to mess with your shit, and they got the hey, best sense of humor. And that's not, a, and that's not a bad no. thing. Where do you, where do you go for bagels? Boom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Andy's grew up in New York. He's like, <laughs> Dude, oh, you haven't had a Jewish bagel? You're out of your mind. Yeah, no, you got to go to a Jewish And I've heard that from everybody. You got go anyway, to go to a ahead. Jewish bagel shop. But anyway, and also Mexican dudes have great senses of humor, right? They're funny. Yeah. So these two guys come, and I'm so mad at the company because so many things were messed up about it. I got to pay more money. Yeah. I could get into it forever. But whatever. These two elderly dudes come. And these, these dudes are awesome. But they're, yeah. they're older. Right, Like right. The, the guys who packed my place were in their 20s. Yeah. These guys literally 50s, like late 50s. Oh, boy. And they have two dollies, and they're moving all my stuff. And I literally, I called the company. I'm like, dude, not for, not to be age discriminatory here, but why do you send people in their 50s yeah. to move households? And they're like, well, you're a one-bedroom apartment. You're a small apartment. It's like, yeah, man, but it's still like I stuff you got to carry. Dude, because I packed books. Yeah. I had boxes. Of, you know how heavy books are in a yeah. box? And crazy. you had to like, watch these guys do this. Yeah, and so you know what I did? I ended up helping them. Yeah. Because you just can't watch a 50-year-old dude move And you pay shit. a lot of money to do this. Yes. And I had to pay more money because it was like a long haul. They couldn't fit the truck in the alleyway oh. and all this shit. Now, and and the, the thing that sucked was I was so mad at the company, but then I'm just looking at these poor two older Mexican gentlemen thinking, right. it's not their fault. Right, no. They got told to go somewhere. They're making 12 bucks an so hour, 10 bucks I an hour. I can't let them throw out their backs. Right. So I'm literally moving my yeah. shit. See, you're it, not. It was I, ridiculous. I, I've talked to you about this before because we were in the car for hours. Yeah, but uh, like you're, you've moved, mo used, you have used movers a few times, twice, and twice. a lot of people I've heard they said it's a nightmare. I've talked to comedians but, that moved and used movers. You know why it's a nightmare? It's a nightmare. And here's my big tip to anybody that has to use a moving company: it's a nightmare because the the better companies will quote you a price that's way higher because they are actually going to come closer. To their actual quote, right? The ch the shitty cheap companies that you haven't heard of, right? Will quote you this amazing price, yeah. And then at the end of it, there's gonna be a million hidden fees, right? Whereas the the better companies, they still they all screw you a little bit, right? But the better companies are like, look, we're screwing you, and here it is. Where the cheap companies are like, no, we're they better. screw they screw you at the end. And it's worse. It's way better to get Ugh. screwed in the beginning, sure. Because then yeah. you know what's happening. If you wait till the end, then you're just pissed. You so, thought you were circumventing it, and you weren't. You if know, you're, if you can spend the money doing it, let's like, especially if your company's yeah. moving you, you get the best, yeah. right? Like, like United Van Lines is a great one, right? Sure, and like that, like the like ones boy. like that. You, well, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I, dude. They have no, I, I they didn't even move me, but I should have used Any, them. Anytime they I told name, me. Anytime we name a product on here, I say holler at your boy in case they want to be a sponsor. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> There's like seven or eight, and we've all heard of them, Allied, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. yeah. I mean? Use one of those. Yeah, right. If you have to move long distance, it's going to seem like more money, but use one of those because these cheap ones, they come over and like, yeah, but we had to pad the furniture. It's like, oh, do you sometimes not pad furniture? I didn't realize that was an extra right, goddamn right. charge. Exactly. Like, 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 and then they got off the truck, and they're like, well. Since Meanwhile, they always add yeah, padding furniture. Since it's a long haul, can you guess how much it is a foot? Like if they can't move it right from the truck into your door – they charge you then every foot. Yes. That's what you said. Yeah. That's so insane. They couldn't park their truck on my block. They parked it on the next block. Oh, my God, dude. So they were going to have to walk it like 700 feet. It would have been 700 more dollars. That's insane. It would have been probably 1000 more dollars for them to take it into my apartment door. That's crazy. So I had to have them take it like to the front of my apartment 
and then I took it the rest of the way. Wow. And by the way, I was mostly taking it to the front of my apartment because these two dudes were old. This is crazy. Yeah. Andy, this makes me never want to use a mover again. Well, I used a cheap one, and I almost want to say their name, too, and this is why it's confusing. You're allowed. United Moving Group oh, moved me. They tricked you. What they do is people think they're the United Van Lines. Uh-huh. And and they and they and they United realize moving group. United Van Line science sounds small, right? That's, oh yeah. That's so when you look at them both, right? You're like, oh, the United Movers Group. Oh. oh, they're the good one. No, they're the shit one. <laughs> well, on that note, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna do a quick shout out to sponsors that we love and believe in. Is that okay, Andy? That's perfect. Go ahead. Um. Uh. All right. Real quick. Pew, pew, pew. That's what I do, Andy. I throw it out so you know what's happening throughout the air horns. Okay. Um, Andy knows about one of this one of these sponsors because he has toured and done comedy. Uh, if you are an entertainer and you travel and you need hotel rooms, go to ignitehospitality.com. Ignitehospitalityservices.com. Um, Andy, we stay in some nice hotels sometimes, and I'm like, hey, this was nineteen dollars. And that's because Adam at Ignite Hospitality Services hooks us up. Uh, we stayed in Chicago at a, a decent place for like $40. It was a five-star hotel. Um, there was one. We just stayed in the middle of nowhere at a nice place. It was like $20. It's always – it's uh, – and, and even they found on the route that we were taking, on the route route <laughs> that we were taking, I was like, Adam, we're going to be stopping here through the night. Boom, got me a place. It's amazing. And how does that happen? All you do is you trade uh, reviews and social media posts with that hotel. You tell everybody how awesome it was on uh, Yelp and TripAdvisor and on Facebook uh, and stuff like that. And that's what you do. Uh, so go to Ignite Hospitality Services. You can find them on Facebook, on Twitter, IgniteHospitalityServices.com. Also, Mary Mac Bakehouse. One of our favorite baked goods, uh, when Jason Clark and I, you know Mary Mac? Yes. Of course you do. Of course. Everybody in Pittsburgh comedy knows and loves Mary Mac. I know both your uh, these reads. I can testify. I can, right? I can testify to both of them. Right. I would have been sleeping in my car without Ignite I, I, a couple times. Right, yeah. And Mary Mac is great, food, great oh. baked food. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Mary Mac cinnamon rolls, the best of all time. Uh, she also has a podcast about baking, MaryMacPodcast.com. So check out Mary Mac Bakehouse. You can find her on all the social medias as well. She favorites a lot of my tweets, too. I love her. Isn't She's she the great. best? Yeah. The best. And good baked goods. All right. Pim, pim, pim. That's what I do. That's how I know. That's how I know. Until... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my son to say something like, there'll just be a little sound clip of my son, like, time to pay the bills or something like that. Like, time for our awesome sponsors. Um, Why don't you just do the little air horn sound, the actual one, the brr, 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 like the real Oh, one. actually, our, our uh, Ryan, uh, Ryan, our editor, hello, yeah. Ryan, good to see you. He actually adds them in over mine. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's ridiculous. I was going to say, I thought I had heard them when you were playing the podcast. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but so that's your experience. So I'm yep. on the I'm a, your experience of moving with movers. I'm at a point, Andy. I can't afford movers, you know, and I have to get people to help move my family. Like I'm calling. Well, of course, my normal co-host Jason Clark. He's going to be there because he's awesome. I bet it would have cost you double if you got movers. Whatever it's cost you, yeah, it's crazy. Double, yeah, yeah. I was told that a family of four or five to move to Los Angeles would be fifteen thousand dollars. Yes. We talked about this. Yep. And I looked it up and it was probably about mm -hmm. it was about twelve to fifteen thousand yep. dollars. I mean, I think look, it's not gonna be fifteen thousand. It could be up to that. That's so much. It depends money. on what you have that's being that's moved. So much money. If you have a if you have a baby grand piano, oh yeah. Oh, that's not good. It's gonna be like twenty grand. But like it, you see, it depends on what you have. It's Th a that's thing. a big thing. It's a thing where I thought that like if if I would ever move my family to LA, I would probably just keep things in storage somewhere here. Uh well in Pennsylvania, but then like you'd have to like sell your couches and stuff. Well, I moved a lot like, as a kid, and we had a five bedroom, four bedroom house, whatever. I moved a right. lot as a kid, like like three or four times. Right. And yeah, it's like most people who move like that, you have to have your company or somebody pay for it. Oh, you have to. You know what I mean? Those Absolutely. are the people who move like that. You can't just pick up and do it. Really, right. the average person can't at all. Or the, you know what is the really the cheaper option? Anything right. you're not that attached to, right? Get rid of buy it. Buy it new. Right. Buy it new when you buy got it new there. when you get there. Because if you're going to spend that much money, let's just say you're still going to same spend the same amount of money on moving, but really now half of that's going to be used for a new bedroom. If set. your mattress is older than like two months old, 
Andy, you Andy, might no. no. Seriously, listen to me. You might as well not bring it with you on a moving truck. A year, because here's what the, here's what the problem right. is. It's going to cost you probably like 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 four hundred dollars ish worth of money because it's just, it's one of those weird things where it takes up space and they can't right. really jam it and put things on top of it. Right. So it takes up more cubic space than it actually is. Right. So it takes up all this space on a truck. Or if you have like cool things like a pinball machine. Per se. Yeah, not good. Not good. Because then it's just you got to dig deep and see if you really want that. Because that's just taking up its space. They can't anything. They can't stack things on. Right. If you have a lot of glass right. things. Well, that's what I said. That's what takes up space. Because we had those storage it. pods, and like we made sure that we put like the books in the bottom. Like we, I was very strategic. Yeah. But we, dude, we packed two of them to your nose. Yeah. Like to the very top. Like. You know, the, the and then two I saw right, and I saw your place. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, even even at the top where there's some spaces, it's like, oh, here's a garbage bag of blankets. Like, yeah, we yeah. just shove you everything. Jam that in, and and at this point now, like my wife is like, when I get home after this road trip with you, you know, we're actually moving in four days. Now, now those things will a company move those things for you that yes. you filled? Oh, okay. Yeah, they they. So come that gives and, you a nice hop. Exactly, on that's the yeah, idea. Yeah. So we were able to have those at our house for a month. So we were able to pack them yeah. at our leisure. Plus, my wife didn't have to get in the car and leave with the kids to go take something to a storage unit. So, and actually, so uh, yeah, um, I should I should use them as a sponsor. Yeah. Well, you know, if you did move to LA, you'd have to do some more, one of those weird pod things because those are a lot cheaper too. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. That would be way less than fifteen grand. Way less. Yeah, that's what I should be doing. But well, then it depends on the neighborhood you're moving into. A lot of them won't let you drop the pods. Then you got to drop it at a at a storage unit. Right, you know, even if it's just for that moment, put it on in another truck and get it to your place. It's a nightmare with some of this stuff, but <laughs> I don't um, move. If you're listening, stay where you're at. I used, uh, if you want to check it out, I've had a great experience so far with My Way Mobile Storage in Pittsburgh, uh, MyWayStorage.com. Now that that's just uh, they're a national chain, so you can get them anywhere. MyWayStorage.com. Check it out. I why not? I love them. You know yeah, what I mean? No, yeah, that's good. Remote who you like. Um, I. So now, now moving, I have to like get people to, Andy, you made me laugh so hard. Like, cause you, you, you're right though. You were like, you're not moving like me in an apartment. I'm moving like multiple bedrooms of children. Yeah. My wife and I's entire past, you know, like all the, you know what I mean? Everything yeah. we have. It's a funny way to put it. You're moving your past whenever you're yes. moving. Yeah. That's all it is. It's like, we have this whole trunk of high school things and we're just like, why do we have this? But then you're like, yeah, why? But getting rid of this would be kind of dumb it's like you know you don't this is you can't get another one of these you know like yeah. these memories and things i, I are... just went through the whole thing it, my attachment dude i had a really hard time getting rid of this chair that's just destroyed sure. but i would had it in the corner of my bedroom yeah. since i was like in high school right and even then it was an old chair my parents had in, like the living i get room. it and i, I and had a recliner dude, i just sat in that chair for so much time right that there was this weird thing with me in the chair. I right. was like, this is yep. an important Dude, part I of had me. a recliner that Stupid. I got off my buddy's grandfather in high school. His grandfather passed away. And he had this crazy, awesome old man recliner. Boy, I hope he didn't die in the chair. He didn't, Andy. You know I, he Andy spent, I asked. You know he spent some of his last moments Andy, in that chair. He did not. Don't there say. were some there's well, death farts in those, those seats. Death farts? There's death farts in that I seat. That's that's like a Spaceballs movie. Death farts. <laughs> Um, no, but like I had that all during like, uh, like my senior year of high school, like during college. And then finally when, like my wife and I are about to get married and she's like, you're not bringing that leather, that thing. It's Good like, her. there's tears in it. I put duct tape on it in the holes. Yeah, that was, I, I get it, man. If I had space, if I moved into a, if I had a two bedroom apartment, let's say right, in LA, right. I would have brought a lot of more stuff. But you're right, you know? man. We got to get rid of so much stuff. And like. So me being away, we move in like four to five days when I get home. My wife, it's seriously going to be like like blankets for picnics on the floor and mattresses. She has gone nuts. She has packed everything, which is kind of awesome. I mean, she's she's awesome. Yeah, I mean, my girlfriend helped out a lot. Uh, I, 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 oh, I honestly think I, that... I heard some of those phone conversations. <laughs> you left some... <laughs> Dude! Okay, Andy. let me explain this. Andy. Let me explain this. When you were like, would Look, you just leave this? I'm like, no, Andy. Listen. Dude. What happened is, and I think this happens to a lot of people. Mm, doesn't I tried <laughs> to leave a mess for a certain other person to clean up, but the mess then was interpreted as my girlfriend had to clean it up. I didn't want her to clean I up I don't the mess. know what you mean, but okay. All right, so 
I'm moving. I take everything I want out of the apartment. There's just kind of junk left. Right. And I knew that the people who ran out my place, they clean it, and then they'll just charge you. They'll send you a bill. And I tr- I trust them, by the way. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, so you'll just not, like, I'll pay the bill. They're not shitty people. The people I ran out of my place. You'll pay the from, cleaning bill. Yeah, exactly. We trust each other. They knew, they know I'm not going to trash the place and not pay them. Right. Like, so I was thinking, I will pay the cleaning bill. I'm not going to ask my girlfriend to clean the place. She shows up, and then she calls me, and then she's like, yeah, I took care of everything. It took me like three days to get it done. And I go, three days? What the hell? What was wrong? In in my head, I'm like, did a pipe burst? It sounds like you owe her. Is the, is, are the <laughs> Andy, a pipe? Are did the walls cave in? We mean three days. And she's like, well, you know, I, I was like, I left those like four boxes that I wasn't able to bring, and she's leaving them at her at her brother's house. I'm like, thank you for doing that. That that was a huge help, and but I didn't know why you, you didn't did have to everything. clean everything. You have to do everything because Andy, I know. <laughs> That's it. That's but it answer. wasn't supposed to be her problem. I think I'm going to name you the son of a bitch of the week for putting her through that. <laughs> it was it was supposed to be other people going through it who I was going to pay. But I'm going to be I was going to put money back into the system. Honest, I'm the kind of the son of a bitch of the week too because I just left my wife and kids for 12 days before we move. But well, they get to have some of this money you're making. Most of the money you're making. They get to have most of the money you're making. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So right. it's really for them that you're here. That's good. Um well, before I get out of here, thanks for sharing that, Andy. We're, we'll have another show. We're going to talk all about sports collectibles because yeah, we can fun. do that forever. Do that, yeah. Um, Andy has a hockey podcast. I do. The Unhealthy Scratch Podcast. How do you find it? Uh, check it. Just Google it. Unhealthy Scratch Podcast. We're the only podcast named that. Oh. And then whatever service you like. We're, we're not on the iTunes just yet, uh, but we are on the Libs. They can find you. And you can yeah. follow uh, Andy P. Comedy. Andy P. Comedy on Twitter, yeah. Yeah, find him there. You'll find Or the that. Unhealthy Scratch on Twitter or, you know, whatever. Andy, so we do in. shows in L.A. and uh, randomly will be on the road with me. And uh, Andy's got a short film coming out. Yeah, I do. I don't know when. I probably sometime you, you in the middle You to tell people what it is or at all? Not yet. I'm not sure. Good. Yeah, not yet. It's, uh, it's full of very funny people. Yeah, it's going to be fun. So Hopefully. that's going to be We had cool. a great time making it. So Thanks, dude. I yeah. don't have any dates. I have dates. Who cares? I'll be in I Tampa don't. in June. Hold on. I I'll do. be in Cranberry, Pennsylvania at the end of May. I'll be, I don't know, I'll be on the DV Comedy Show Festival in Pittsburgh. Uh, you know, Stand Up Get Down, my comedy show, my uh, Stand Up Comedy Game Show with Jason Clark, my normal co-host, uh, every month at Arcade Comedy Theater. You know what I mean? I and mean, if you're in L.A. this Wednesday, I'll be at The Rack in Woodland Hills. Andy, I think this is coming out like in a month. I might be there again that Wednesday. Yeah, we whatever. Know. That's we fine. Know. All right. I needed to have a date. <laughs> Are you asking me out on a date? No, I needed to I needed to have a career, is what I'm saying. Oh, okay. I'm asking you for a career. No.